palace we're after is in western Iraq. Syrian desert. There's a complication. Desert storm. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They've taken out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. They haven't destroyed the palace yet, but that's about to change. British SAS forces are on the ground hunting mobile Scud launchers, and they've marked our palace for massive aerial bombing. That can't happen. We don't know what Pantheon's hiding in the bunker under the palace. If it's destroyed, we lose the trail. I reached out to an old collaborator of mine at MI6 for a favor. She pressured the SAS to delay their airstrike, but it'll come at a cost. We're gonna pose as Delta Force operatives so this Helen Park can get us to the front. Then we're gonna help the SAS clean up those scud launchers. After that, the palace is ours. want these scuds destroyed as much as you want that palace. We think the Iraqis could start launching at any time. Jackal 2-1, let's flash those launchers. Moving to flank the first sight. All right, Park, keep those yanks of yours on a tight leash. Charming guy. There, it's got up. It's already happened. The site's still a quarter click ahead. Can you pick it up? Activity. Let him come! job, everyone. Now listen up. Pritchard, Skinner, clear up this rubbish and unload the trucks. Yes, sir. We're building our layup here. Your crew's not too shabby, Park. <laughs> now let's see what else they've got. This will be our base of operations for now. Here, you won the straw vote and get to carry the tack map. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so you'll find it useful. We need to neutralize three more Scud sites. Stay alert out there. You might find other things of interest as well. Gladney's promised to help your team breach the palace if you destroy those Scuds. Help him out, and we'll see if he's a man of his word. You can talk to him yourself if you'd like. He'll stay here in the layup, working logistics for the SAS. Once you're ready to head out, we'll follow your lead. Got no shortage of guns. Grab whatever gear you want. Might want some of that C4. Should've tear right through a scud launcher. We'll get going when you're all told up. Case, if there's anything else you want to know about the mission, I'd speak to Gladney over there.
Need something? So much interest in this palace. If it was up to me, we'd have blown it to Kingdom Come by now. The only reason it's still standing is Miss Park over there. Interesting indeed. Yeah. Just help us take out the remaining scuds and we'll help you get whatever it is you need. Not at the moment. It's too many bloody surface-to-air missiles. In fact, I just received word that some of your Delta Force friends were shot down nearby. We have our own attack helo, but it's not getting up there unless you find some way to disable the SAM sites in this region. The Iraqis have a few new encampments, likely connected to these cross-border missile strikes. Intel reports several unusual forces embedded in the camps. I'm not sure what you should expect there. You're mostly on your own there. Command's made some supply drops in the area, but we haven't had a chance to retrieve them. If you find any, they're yours. I've sent Jackal 1 for the Scuds in sectors 7, 8 and 9. The rest are yours. We put advanced scouts on the ground to find the sites and they're still out there. If you meet any, they might have additional intel. Don't you Americans talk? Of course. But no one besides Park seems to know about your little pack. To be honest, I don't give a shit about your agenda if we can get the work done out here. Let's hope they make short work of their targets. Don't worry. If all goes according to plan, they'll be back in time to help raid the palace. That is, if you uphold your end of the deal. What do you have in mind? Well, we can support your crew with an attack helo, but it isn't getting in the air until those surface-to-air missiles are taken out. Damn if I know. Maybe the Iraqis have pulled in some mercenary help. Whoever they are, they seem to be connected to some of the new outposts that popped up recently. I'd clear them out if I were you. Best of British to you out there. We've got a couple rovers available, Case. Take your pick. We've got gunfire to the right. Over those dooms. Careful. This is Lieutenant Colonel Bannon of Delta Force. Requesting immediate backup. Tango, take cover. We're taking heavy fire at the helo. Requesting assistance. Is anyone out there? We've got an injured team and a down bird. We've got gunfire to the right. Over those dooms. Careful. This is Lieutenant Colonel Bannon of Delta Force. Requesting immediate backup. We're taking heavy fire at the helo. Requesting assistance. Is anyone out there? We've got an injured team and a down bird. Doesn't matter. I need you to call an airstrike. Terminal's inside of the helo. Go! This is Diesel 2 1, approaching your position. Hold out until I get there. Airstrikes inbound. Stay alive until they get here. Armor's rolling in. Approaching your position. Hold out.
hold out until I get there. Airstrikes inbound. Stay alive till they get here. Armor's rolling in. Hey, they're trying to pin us in. to banner thought our mission was over till you showed up thank you from one delta unit to another keep the sack come godspeed an airstrike pretty nice parting gift I might be Delta Force forever after this Over there. That orange smoke marks a supply drop. Might be worth checking out. Hostiles trying to steal our shit. Oh, I'll keep an eye out. Help. We should grab any others we find. Let's keep moving. That'll do the trick for taking out scuds. Eyes up for those SAM sites. We take them out, we'll have an aerial advantage. Over that ridge, see it? Radar dishes south of here. These guns are superior than the ones used in Iran. The Iraqis call them Al Hussein missiles. Much longer range. More orange smoke means more supplies. They're taking our supplies! There's a friendly scout in the area. 
Hey Delta, I see you're close. I'm up the ridge and inside the fence. It's with intel. Glad you made it, Delta. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Good to see you friendly.
Appreciate a warm welcome. We're clear. On your left. Tread carefully. Spotted an enemy camp in the dunes. Got eyes on tangos. Haven't spotted us yet. Got eyes on tangos. Haven't spotted us yet. Case has got this. Diesel two one in the air, looking for target. Radio tower on that hill. Wonder what it's transmitting. We've been compromised! That's all. Let's move. on another supply drop. Someone forgot their boat. I was wondering where I left that. Probably been hit. Let's hit the road. Check it out. Palm trees. The date farm. It has one of our scud launchers. Ah, the hormona. 
Looks like a checkpoint. Yes, cutting off the SAS supply route. Let's do this. Delta in the flesh. Come on, I can show you what we're dealing with. Look, there's increased security at the Scud site. Good. On your right. like a pro.
Looks like they've been calling in some friends. The clans are falling apart. They're on us! Holy shit. What happened here? SAS shelled a tank battalion two nights ago. This look, more supplies ahead. Can't let them grab our stuff. Hey, ruins ahead on those cliffs. One of the scud launchers should be up there. There's an encampment in the ruins ahead. <laughs> Take him out. That was it. It's hard to be orange smoke out there, Case. Gladney marked an area of interest not far from here. Should we have a look? I'm glad any scouts have been out here long. Long enough. If anyone has intel on this stuff, it's them. Gladney's a pretty good negotiator putting us to work before helping us take the palace. He's been doing this a long time. Since dust was invented. Supply drop! The Rocky's close by. Keep low. That'll blow the cover. I wouldn't take that shot. Moving! Gladney's got a scout nearby. Iraq is nearby. Diesel 2-1 available for tasking. Delta, you're close to my position. Here for support at the top of the ruins. See more security here, too! Good eye.
Behind you, Case. Delta, you made it. I've got enemy positions. Take a look. That's risky. Nice shot. Don't pull that trigger. That's risky. I'll cover you where I can. Bombs away. Case? Sorry. Whenever you're ready, Case, we'll head back to the layup. You can have the honor of informing Gladney in person. We're just getting warmed up, right?
Approaching the layup. Need something? Impressive. Now that's out of the way. If you're ready to move on that palace, I'll notify my men. We go in now, we go in with what we have. You sure? I'll give the word.
Snaz are on me. We're going down. We'll hold the area. Hostiles inside. Better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Careful. Good God. Saddam's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. And you trade it all for a WMD. We're close. Clear. What the hell happened in here? Biohazard cabinet. Must be the demonstration allowing mentioned. How about that hard case there? Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthean has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands too? A sample of it. Based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. And some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. And Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. American? All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. You get what you wanted? Not exactly, but we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop. Need air support. 
Vehicles are coming from the south. something. The Pantheon has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Sarah about this supposed research facility? She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. 
You think something's happened to her? Perhaps it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me in case stateside? I'd consider it. <laughs> Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. <laughs> he should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? Hey, you said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. for help, man. Fuck you too. Fine, have fun. Does it look like I'm having fun? No, it's n that's not what I meant. You got dealt a bad hand. You're gonna get dealt bad hands, kid. With us, the stakes are high. Be honest, I don't think I could have done it. Come back home after what happened in Panama. <clears throat> Trusted anyone again. You keep believing in the ones who got your back. Who go to battle for you. Adler was one of those. When those records Termed up after Panama, the wire transfers to Adler from Raul Menendez, two-bit dope slinger. I smell bullshit. Adler, turn against his brothers for cash? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those threads he loves, they ain't cheap now. Listen, I know he can be a goddamn psychopath. I get it. But he's on our side. He just got his own way of doing things. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are anymore. <laughs> You're figuring it out, kid. Handling things, making calls. I just wish I was out there kicking ass with you. Kills me to be in this thing. Hold on now, listen. You're essential, man. All right, chair or no chair. I know you can't get around the way you used to, but this... This is strong. Maybe you were... Maybe you were Captain America before, and now... Now you're like... Professor X. Who? Get out of my face, man. Not in the mood right now. Save it, Case. Hey, do me a favor and check on Felix, will you? We'll bust out of here soon. Everything's on the board when you're ready. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? Uh -huh. 
I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life. You believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt mm, is to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems, ones and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it, but the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark, at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Hmm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Hmm. Or pornography. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject.
Nope.